I'm going to demonstrate how to take a nice ride with GPS route that you found online and get it onto your handy Garmin Edge device. If you haven't discovered already, the native Garmin Connect route building feature is not quite as good as ride with GPS's option, but you are most likely not going to run ride with GPS with your phone mounted to your handlebars for your whole ride. So let's go through the relatively long list of steps to get the best of both worlds. Before we can go through all of the steps, we first need to state the required hardware and devices we need. So of course we need a Garmin Edge device, a mobile phone, and a desktop or tablet device. Additionally, there are required apps and accounts we need. So those are the Garmin Connect account via your browser on your desktop, a Garmin Connect mobile app for your phone, and a ride with GPS access via your browser again. Okay, that was a lot. So go take a ride to clear your mind. And when you come back, we can tackle the step-by-step -step process to get your ride with GPS route onto your Garmin Edge device. Okay, so for step one, we're going to download the route that we want from Ride with GPS directly onto our computer. So you can see in my browser here, I have ridewithgps.com. You do not need the paid version of Ride with GPS or you don't even need an account. Um, if you have an account, it might make sense to log in, but we're gonna go in and export and download the route. So you can go into the route planner. Ride with GPS has an excellent route planner, but I'm not gonna talk about that in this video. I'm actually just going to go to the explore page and find a random route for us to download. So let's take, I don't know, this route here. We're going to go up to this button here that says more with the ellipses and click on it and then click export as file. So I'm going to click GPX track here and then click download file. And then you can see the file starts to download. Simple as that. I usually use the GPX file format, and maybe in a future video, I will explain the differences between each file format. One note is that Ride with GPS has a premium version that enables Notify before turn, but for a Garmin Edge device, you still will get the turn notifications anyways. So for step number two here, we're actually gonna take the file that we just downloaded and upload it into our Garmin Connect account. So I have my Garmin Connect account here. I logged in, of course, and you know, if you don't have an account, then you should create one and you will need to can use it on the browser. So I'm gonna go down here into training and planning, click the drop down, and click on courses. Here I can go and create my own course, and like I said before, I prefer the ride with GPS style, and that's kind of the whole point of this video. But for this, we're gonna click import and then we're gonna click browse. We're gonna go into our downloads, and this is the one that I just downloaded. I click open, and see it just uploaded, and then I'm gonna click get started. And then you do have to select a course type. I'm pretty sure this doesn't really matter at all. I don't know the impact of this, um, but we're just gonna click road cycling because this is a road course. And then we're just gonna scroll down and click save. Uh, the course name I'm just gonna keep, and I'm gonna keep it private, and then we'll click done. And as simple as that, we now have the course from Ride with GPS onto our Garmin Connect. Moving on to step number three, we're gonna open up Garmin Connect on our mobile device. So I'm gonna find the Garmin Connect app. Of course, you do have to be logged into your account. Just load in up here. And kind of similar to the browser version, we're actually gonna go down to more. And then we're gonna to go to training and planning and then click on courses. And you can see that's the course that I just downloaded before. I'm gonna click into it. And now for a quick word from the sponsor of today's video. Just kidding, I don't have any sponsors. So step number four here is to simply turn on your Garmin device. I have an Edge 530 here. And of course you do need to make sure that it's connected to the Bluetooth on your mobile device so that it will be able to connect with the Garmin Connect app. And for step number five, we're actually just gonna push this route onto our Garmin device that is now active and awake. So we're gonna click this little phone with an arrow button and click on that and then it's going to start syncing and you'll get that little check mark and then it will sync onto your uh, Garmin Edge device. If your Garmin Edge device is not awake then it will sync once it is returned on and um, connected to your iPhone again. And here is step number six the final step and that's actually finding the root on your device now that you just pushed over from your phone. So I'm going to scroll down I'm going to go to navigation and I'm going to go to courses and then it should actually just be right at the very bottom so I'm going to just toggle up and here we have that 
annex to port credit. I'm gonna click on it and you can see it's right there and you can load it up and you're ready to go. All right, there you go. Now you know how to take your ride with GPS route and get it onto your Garmin head unit. If you found this video helpful, please leave a thumbs up and slap that subscribe button. Please also leave a comment if you have any other videos you'd like to see. And until next time, I'm out.